Is Lyoto Machida still a force to be reckoned with at 40? The fighter with bone-crushing abilities was no longer considered formidable after three consecutive defeats. Can an aging Lyoto still deliver knockouts as before? Has physical wear and tear affected the dragon like other fighters? Above all, would he be able to prove himself yet again at a time when even his admirers were doubting his abilities? And that could all nice knee to the body. A pent up frustration based on the first fight. Here we go. This video is a tribute to Lyoto Machida. We will see how even a fighter of Lyoto's caliber has to prove his worth at 40. Lyoto Machida was a formidable force that fighters feared to face in the ring. An elusive fighter with full command over Shotokan Karate and Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, Lyoto Machida was a horror for any fighter in the ring. His technical excellence was unmatched, his elusive powers were difficult to survive, and his striking power was almost like light. Fighting out of Bellum, Brazil. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a karate fighter. With only three consecutive losses in the UFC at the age of as if his days were over and it looked as though his career might be winding down. Little did they know that Lyoto Machida was not finished yet. His only hope of returning to glory was a match with Eric Anders. An almost 40-year-old Machida was set against a 30-year-old Eric Anders. What he may have lost in experience, he gained in age. Eric Anders was the highly touted prospect as he had never been defeated in that fight. Machida took the early lead with a series of kicks. A bloody elbow reveals Anders' lack of experience in the first round. Here we go, we see this nice leg kick that actually knocked the legs out from under Eric Anders. And most of the rest of that round, Machida stayed on top trying to figure out a way to pass by the legs of Eric Anders. No real significant damage done other than that. The second round saw Anders find a little more comfort. Anders landed the more powerful strikes in the third round's early going. The 30-year-old managed a takedown and bloodied the dragon's eye with a knee as he got to his feet from the takedown. The bloody match continued for five rounds, where Anders desperately tried his luck, but Machida was skilled enough to counter-strike his every move. Ultimately, the dragon did enough to get the nod on two of the judges' scorecards. It was a big win for Machida as it snapped a three-fight losing streak. Negative losses. No, he had to prove himself further, and next was a fighter like Belfort. For Belfort, it was a matter of now or never, as this fight was Belfort's swan song. Even after a win from Eric Anders, Dragon has a long way to go if he ever wants to compete for a title again. Vitor Belfort's farewell was an opportunity he shouldn't miss. The fight started inauspiciously, with Machida in his trademark karate stance and Belfort hesitant to engage. The first round wasn't much fun for the audience as it was a staring contest with the occasional strikes. Machida ends round one with a left head kick and a right body kick. Vita tried to counter the body kick, but Machida blocked the left hand. In the second round, it looked like we were headed for more of the same until Machida unloaded a front kick that ended the fight in the blink of an eye. It was a clear win, and Belfort left his gloves in the octagon to signify his walking away from the sport. But instead of continuing his streak of victories in the UFC, Machida decided to bid adieu. Still, Machida was not giving in. He ventured into the realm of Bellator, where he had to secure his position again. With back-to-back -back wins over Eric Anders and Vitor Belfort, will Machida extend his streak to three with his Bellator debut? Makes his Bellator debut, bringing an impressive 24 professional victories along with eight defeats. Hailing from Melim Brazil, introducing Loyoto, the Dragon Machida. That debut was against no ordinary competitor. Both Rafael Carvalho and Lyoto Machida were in different stages of their careers. The match was important for Carvalho as he was looking to rebound from a title loss to Gegard Mousasi that he suffered in May. 
With five gold medals he has collected over the past few months, a win against Machida would elevate Carvalho to a new level. Both were competent enough. Carvalho has won 80% of his fights by knockouts, and Machida has had 10 knockouts of his own, so it's tempting to think this fight will turn into a striking exchange. Though it was a difficult match, Lyoto Machida won in his Bellator debut, earning a split decision win over Rafael Carvalho. Fighting with Rafael Carvalho was just a debut match. Bellator was still new and a fight with Chael Sonnen was all Lyoto Machida needed to prove himself at Bellator. Will an aging Machida survive this fight as well? As if three consecutive wins were not enough, Lyoto was hungry for more. The match was equally important for a 42-year-old Sonnen. Both were struggling to stay in the ring in the 40s, but the match was almost a one-sided one. Sonnen was already suffering from a loss to Tito Ortiz, but followed it up with consecutive victories over Wanderlei Silva and Rampage Jackson, so taking him the light was out of the question. However, Fedor Emelianenko beat Sonnen by first-round TKO at Bellator 208 last year, and Sonnen now needs a win like never before. Both Machida and Sonnen were established fighters with remarkable careers. Both were aging, and their bout was also significant since the winner could potentially enter the title picture in the light heavyweight or middleweight division. When the opening bell sounded, Zonin appeared aggressive, stalking Machida, backpedaling in his vintage fighting stance. Machida landed several loud body kicks on Sonnen. The two clinched against the cage for a short time before breaking. Machida landed his best shot of the fight, knocking Sonnen head over heels with a beautiful jumping knee. Somehow, Sonnen survived the shot and the abundance of follow-ups. Seconds into the second round, Machida landed another walloping knee. Unlike the knee in the first round, Sonnen could not survive the kick. Referee Todd Anderson had to step in. He waved off the bout at 22 seconds of round two, declaring Machido the winner. In defeat, the 42-year-old Sonnen announced his retirement from MMA, placing his gloves in the center of the cage. I'm walking out. I appreciate the memories and goodbye. I want to tell you personally, thank you for everything that you have done. Thank you for the way you've handled yourself and thank you for building MMA the way you have. For a 41-year-old Machida, it has been a career renaissance since signing with Bellator. Lyoto Machida proved that age was just a number for a fighter of his caliber. He may have crossed 40, but was not ready to retire yet. His skill set, experience and stamina were very young, and he was ready to snatch victories like never before. The four fights proved not only Lyoto's stamina and caliber, but also inspired many fighters for years to come. If a 40-plus Lyoto Machida can do it, so can anyone who dares to dream. Also, we have another legendary Muay Thai fighter, Buakao, who is knocking out people at 40. See you on that video.